Welcome back everybody. It's the evening of October 16th and I'm back up here in the stump too overlooking the clover and corn plot right here below me. We have a wind once again out of the northwest but I think it's more favoring straight out of the north which is a great setup for up here. You know it's blowing right into my face right out over the green field that I walked in on. Kind of unusual to have so much north north winds this early in October. I don't have too many early season setups for a north wind really. What's great about this spot though is I can get in and out of here pretty much unscathed to deer that are out here in this food plot. And as you guys seen last time, all these deer, uh, deer just stepped out. That's funny that happened last time I was doing this up here. But uh, all these deer that come out down here, they oftentimes they work right up into the standing corn that's like 15, 20 yards in, right in front of me. Uh, the last time I was here, it was incre an incredible hunt. I saw six different bucks, 20 some deer in total, and uh, all those bucks came up and were uh, sparring right here at 20 yards right in front of me in the corn. It was really a cool hunt. And there's a, a beautiful two and a half year old nine point that came out that uh, I think uh, a lot of people wanted me to call him Rodeo, and I'm going to go with it. Rodeo it is. So when he's a big mature buck, his name is, will officially be Rodeo when he makes it. Oh, I guess it's Rodeo now. But uh, there's a, there has been, like I said, a bear coming out into this corn as well. And uh, this corn is like decimated. I can't believe that they're even still finding anything in it. So there's always a possibility for that. So. Looking forward to tonight, and we'll see what happens. I'll show you this deer out here right now. Starting to see some really pretty color in the leaves out there. Oh, we've got three of them out now. Something to spook these deer off the food pot. They were looking over to the right, over in that direction. Maybe there's a bear coming out of there. We'll keep our eyes peeled, see what's going on over there. Oh, the spike just popped out. So I think that's what had those lawns all riled up that were out in the food plot. Just a little spike.
about right now is that little spike and then a little fawn over here. Oh, there's another deer over there or something. What is that? Oh, it's a porcupine. Of course, that scared the deer. To the deer's credit, it was a really big porcupine. Spike's looking at it too. That thing's walking right across the food plot. Probably gonna come all the way up here to the corn. Yeah, that porcupine made it all the way up to the corn. There's another little buck that just came out. There's one over here in the corn feeding.
there's some deer coming out right behind the blind. Where that big doe's walking is about 40 yards from where my truck is parked. <laughs> she obviously doesn't care too much about it. They're all going up there to eat on hickory nuts. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up, but it was a fun set. We ended up seeing quite a few deer. Uh, nothing with any decent amount of antler, though. Everything was uh, four points, spikes, little six points. Pretty, it was the night of small bucks, but uh, we'll be back after them tomorrow evening. Looking forward to that. It's supposed to get real cold tonight into uh, the possible high 20s, low 30s with a hard frost, so... I'm sure that you know deer will be up and moving around all night tonight and maybe hopefully tomorrow. Uh, we've got some cool, some pretty cool skyline video of these deer out in the field behind the blind here to end this video off with. But I hope everybody's having a good hunting season. Uh, if you're out a lot and you're not seeing much, don't don't get discouraged. You know the best hunting is yet to come. Uh, you know. The, that last week of October, first two weeks of November is is uh, still in front of us, and that is when things get really exciting. So I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good evening, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.